Here recently, Kinsta, which is one of my favorite hosting providers for WordPress sites, launched a plan that gives you free website hosting for static websites. So of course, I definitely wanted to check that out because there are times I need to create little landing pages where WordPress really isn't required. So I hopped into the Kinsta account to try to figure out how this works and it ended up being a little bit more complicated than I was ready for. Fortunately, I was able to get it figured out. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the idiot's guide to getting your free website hosting set up with Kinsta. Now, when I say the idiot's guide, I don't mean that you're an idiot who needs a guide. I'm saying that your guide is completely an idiot. I really don't know that much about GitHub, but I was able to fumble my way through it and get a static website live on the internet. So if you wanna just see the basics of how to get this done, then stick around and let's get to it. So a while back, I actually used ChatGPT to help me create this little dashboard widget generator. So all I have to run this site is this index.html file, some JavaScript, and some basic styles. So when we open this file up, you'll see here locally, I just have dashboard widget generator, my name, and then a couple functions here. So what we do just to kind of demo how this works is I'm just gonna put fake title in here and I'll drop some website Ipsum in and we can even style a little bit of it just for the demo. We'll bold that and we'll grab this text here and just give it a link. Now, when we hit generate code, what it's gonna do is just spit out some PHP for us that we can copy by clicking this button and we can hop over into a WordPress install. As you can see, if I go to my dashboard here, there's no widgets here on my dashboard. But if I go into my theme functions.php file and just paste in what I copied from my clipboard and hit update file, we can go back to the dashboard and you can see this widget has been created based off the PHP that was done here inside this dashboard widget generator. So this is pretty nifty if you just need to create some quick little widgets for your dashboard. I'll often like to do this for clients if they need to know something specific. At least it's right here when they log in if they're gonna be seeing this default dashboard. However, having this just based here on my machine locally isn't probably the best setup for this. And it might be great if other people could benefit from this dashboard generator too. Of course, I didn't wanna go and set up some kind of WordPress install for this, and I didn't wanna pay for some kind of hosting. When Kinsta's free static site hosting came out, I figured this was the perfect use case to give it a shot. So let's see what we're gonna to have to do to get this live on the internet. So in order to do this, we're gonna need two things. First, we're gonna need an account at kinsta.com. Now I've already gone ahead and created my account, so I'm gonna log in here. And of course, I've already demoed this, so you didn't have to see me struggle through it the first time. But once you set up your account over here on the left-hand side, you'll have a tab for static sites. And in here, you can click add a new site. We're gonna get back to that here in a second because first we need to go into GitHub and get all these files uploaded. So GitHub can be a little bit intimidating. And if I'm honest, I really don't understand it that well, but I'm gonna be able to show you in this quick little demo, at least a very basic way to get this site up and running. I'm sure anybody who's familiar with GitHub is gonna be screaming at their screen, telling me I'm doing this all wrong. But from my experience, this got things working. So I'm gonna start with what I know. Here, I'm gonna click my profile picture. I'm gonna click your repositories and I'm gonna click add new. We're gonna call this widget generator. We'll leave the description blank. We're gonna leave this as public, although we could probably do this private. Um, this is just for demo purposes. I'm gonna leave it public because I didn't test that when I was actually connecting it to uh, Kinsta. So we'll go ahead and leave that public. We'll leave all the rest the same and we'll just hit create repository. Now, once we have that created, we can click on this upload an existing file. And I'm gonna go back to my files here that I created. Now we can just grab these three files and drag them here into our browser. And it's gonna go ahead and upload that index file, the script.js and the styles.css. And we can hit commit changes. Now it'll give it just a second here and it will upload everything and everything's good to go. So back here inside of our Kinsta dashboard, we're gonna click the add site button. Now, this is gonna take you through a process of connecting to your GitHub. Of course, I've already done that now, so I'm not able to walk you through that, but it's pretty simple. You'll click on this, you'll hit edit GitHub permissions. It'll open up in a new window and you just click through to give it permission. So now that I already got this connected, we can see that my widget generator repository that I just added is already here. So I'm gonna click that one to connect it. And I'm gonna do an automatic deployment on commit and then hit continue. 
Here on this screen, I've just left all this blank. I'm sure there's things here that I don't fully understand, but for my demo purposes, this seemed to work perfectly fine. And we'll go ahead and hit Create Site. Now it'll take it just a few minutes to add these files and deploy them. So I will pause this video and we'll come back as soon as it's up and running. Okay, so that ended up taking about 19 seconds to fully deploy. Obviously, this is a really simple site. But now that it's deployed, once we hit this Visit Site button, we should be taken to this domain that Kinsta has given us. You can see it's widget generator and some random characters, .kinsta.page. Once we go to this URL, we should see our widget generator there. So let's go ahead and click Visit Site. And we can see now our widget generator is live on the internet. This is fantastic, completely free, and obviously as it's a static site, it's gonna load really quickly. Now we do probably wanna connect this to a real domain as that's not really a domain I'm gonna easily be able to share with people. So I've gone ahead and bought a cheap domain to host this website on. So we'll go here to domains and we'll click add domain. The domain I got is widgetgenerator.xyz and we'll hit add domain. Next, I'm going to have to go ahead and verify that I own this domain. So I'm going to pause this video, jump into my Cloudflare account and add these TXT records. I'll do this privately just so I don't expose anything else inside my account. But all I'll be doing is adding this TXT record with this value and this record with this value. Okay, just a quick update here. Of course, propagation takes forever and I just bought a brand new domain for this purpose. So it's taken me a little bit to get all this worked out. Of course, it helps if you actually put in the domain you really bought. Now I've actually set up all the records inside of Cloudflare and now it's pointing the domain to my new website. So we'll rejoin this once this process is finished and we'll be able to take a look at our site on our live domain. Okay, so it looks like it's gone ahead and finished up here and we can see we have two domains on our domain list now. We have the default one that Kinsta gave us and we have my new domain, dashboardwidget.xyz. Currently that Kinsta domain is set as the primary, but we wanna set the dashboard widget domain as the primary. I'll click the three dots over here and we'll press make primary domain. Go ahead and hit make primary and now it is already done. So now if we hit this open URL for our dashboard widget.xyz, we should see our widget generator here live on my domain. And just like that, there we go. This entire website is being hosted for free by Kinsta on their brand new free static site hosting plan. Now, because I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to building sites out statically or using GitHub, I can't tell you how much use I'll get out of this, but there has been several cases where I needed to just put up something simple and this kind of solution would absolutely be perfect. And for free, you really can't beat the price. Now there are some limitations around what you get inside the free account, but if we're talking little sites like this that I doubt are ever gonna get any real traffic, I doubt that I'm ever going to run up against those limits. I'd be curious to know if something like this is a good fit for you and what kind of websites you'd consider hosting on Kinsta's free plan. Go ahead and use the comments down below to let me know about those because I would love to check them out myself. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, of course, I would love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna make sure to catch me on the next one, go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll see you then.